Before we begin editing our website, I want to show you how to change the fonts because it's so important to the look and feel of your website. We need to change the fonts in two different areas, one for Elementor itself and the other for the entire theme. When we change the fonts for Elementor, it's going to change this section. So it's not going to affect the very top or very bottom of the website. It also won't affect things like your blog pages or shopping cart. Basically, it'll only affect it if you're using Elementor to build that page. So to change the fonts on Elementor, just click the very top left menu icon. Then choose Global Fonts. Click Primary Headline, and we're going to search for Lato. That's L-A-T-O. That's one of my favorite fonts. Some other good fonts are Open Sans and Roboto. But of course, you can choose any font you want. You can also go to google.com forward slash fonts to see what all the fonts look like. For weight, we're going to keep it as 600. Weight is how bold things are. So 900 would be really bold and 100 would be very thin or very light. Next, for a secondary headline, again, we're just going to type in Lato. For body text, we're just going to type in Lato again. For accent text, we're going to type in Lato and we're just gonna keep it all very consistent. Then click apply, and you have changed the fonts for Elementor. Now we can press save, and it will save. That may have changed the fonts for Elementor, but it didn't change the fonts for this navigation up here. It also didn't change the fonts for the footer. It only changed the font for Elementor, this inner page right here. So to change the theme font, let's exit out of here, press view page, close this tab, and now we're trying to change this navigation up here. So click Customize, then click Typography, and click General. Make sure Latin is selected. Go back, click Body, and search for Lato again, and that will change this navigation up here. Now we can go back and go to All Headings, and again search for Lato, and go back. Then click Logo, and we could choose any font here, I'm just going to choose Lato, but we could do a more fancy font if we want instead of creating a logo. So we can type in League Script or Lecton or one of my favorites is Rock Salt. That looks pretty crazy. Or any font that we want. There are hundreds and hundreds of fonts. I'm just going to stick with Lato and we could change the size right here. That looks good, so let's go back. Now let's click on Main Menu and we could choose any font we want, of course. We're just going to go with the default font, which is Lato. And now we're going to change the font size, and that will change how big the text is in the main navigation area. And we could do a text transformation. We can uppercase everything, but I'm just going to keep it default. And that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to go back, and we can change any of these other options down here, but I think that's good. So I'm going to click Save and Publish and exit out of there. And now we are ready to begin editing our websites now that we have all the fonts in order.